Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Uh, we're having some tactic technical difficulties with Milan's uh, camera today, so he's not going to be on camera. We don't know what's wrong, but we'll fix it for next time. Okay, Milan, what are we doing today? Today we're doing some practical end games. Okay. And the first one you see, uh, Black Blade H5, last move. Okay. So now White has to punish this. White has to punish this. Okay, let me think. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to list the candidate moves first because that's <laughs> what I usually do in an endgame. So moves that make sense to me are f5, uh, king d5, And that's and about that's it. it. <laughs> uh, so if I go king d5, probably black goes king d7, I'm guessing. So the more forcing move is f5, which uh, if if black takes it, then king f5 and black is going to lose the h pawn. Yeah, then the h pawn is gets lost and so black cannot black cannot take. So if I go, don't do the arrows, please. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so if I go f5 and black doesn't take then black either goes king d7 to prevent uh, fg fg king uh, e6 or black goes black cannot go black can go f6 check but I don't think that's good because I go king e6 and the same issue remains, either uh, black takes and I take with the king. Oh, wait, wait, wait. King f7. Wait, 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 wait. f5, uh, f6 check, king e6, uh, gf5, king f5, king f7. Hmm. But f5, f6, uh, king e6, uh, gf5, ef5, King f8, let's say. King f8. Should be a draw if I go king d7, I think. Wait, king f8, king d7, king f7. Yes, and then you push e6. You don't even have to react with black, you can just wait here. Yeah, okay. f5, f6, king e6. If gf5, king f5, king f7. If I go g4, probably either hg4 or e6, if e6 king f4 doesn't change much, and then if king g6, or he could go g, king g6 immediately actually. Yeah, it looks like it's the fortress that black got. <clears throat> So if uh, f5, f6, king f4 instead of king e6. Then king f7 again. I, I, I don't think I have anything. With, okay, but I'll just try to go, make go again with the variation and yeah. Let, let check me just if you missed something. Okay, uh, is uh, hi John. Is is everything uh, okay with the uh, with the moves? Is everything synced? Although we haven't made any moves, Milan, can you try and make make some moves so that we can check? Okay. 
Okay. So if if everything is okay with the moves, please let us know. Okay, I great. I'm not I'm not looking at the chat, so I. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so H five was on the board. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, so F five. Taking is not possible. Uh, if Black doesn't play F six, I'm going to take. So, for example, if king f8, then uh, f takes g, f takes g, and king e6. King e8. King e8. Uh, how many moves does black have? And then I could go g3, probably. And if king d8, I go king f7, winning. If king f8, I can go king d7, and if king f7, I can go e6 check, and I win, I think. King f6? Your pawn? I, your pawn isn't on f6. Stupid. Uh, okay, then I have to go over again. So f5, king f8, fg6, fg6, king e6, king e8. Can I go king d5 instead of king e6? So f5, king f8, takes, takes. <clears throat> so f5, king f8, takes, takes. Uh, uh, I think you spent g3 tempo too early. Yeah, no, no, I didn't spend it yet. So if, uh, let's say, move one, f5, king f8, okay. takes, takes, king e6, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, king e6. He has to go king e8. All right. Uh, okay, instead of king e6, what if I go king d5? That was my idea. So the black king is on f8, I go king d5. King f7. Uh, e5. King f8. E6. Yeah, that should work, right? Yeah, I think that works. So that punishes king f8, I think. I think... What if king d7? <clears throat> uh, against e... Uh, against, against f5. Okay, f5, king d7. Uh, fg6, fg6. Wait, I need to count the tempi. Fg, Fg, King F4, King E6, King G5, mm. King F7. Yeah, no, I don't think that's good. F5, King D7. I cannot go king d5 because black just takes a pawn, takes twice, and it should be a draw, I think. Or it's definitely a draw. Wait, is it? 
uh, f5, king d7, king f5. Uh, king e d5. Yeah, yeah, king d5, and then black goes e6 check. And... Hmm. That should be lost for black. E6, I mean. Yeah. Because you can take, take, and go king c5. Wait, I take f6? Yes. f6, king c5. And if he follows with king c7, e5. And then you'll flank him on b6 and... Okay, so not e6. So if f5, king d7, king d5. What does black do? Well, what about capturing on f5? I thought that's even worse. So if takes, takes, and then black has to move again. What does black do? If if king e8, I think I can go king e5, or even king c6. No, but we can transpose into this position before with f6. And then just go king here, king f7. Okay. So f5, king d7. King d5, you told? Yeah, but maybe it's not good. <clears throat> I'm looking at f6 now on move two but after e6 i don't see how to win although maybe maybe i can win <laughs> wait f5 king d7 f6 e6 I'm just looking at king f4. I, I don't know if I can get away with that. King f4, king e8. King g5. King f8. King h6. King g8. Yeah, you're getting to the corner quickly. If I could reach h8, then... <laughs> It would work, but I cannot. Okay, so f5, king d7. If f6, e6, king d4. I'm guessing king d6. Yes. But then... Uh, can I play e5? Check. King c6, king c4. I still have one tempo with g3. But you cannot get anything with it because yeah. you can go king b6 and you don't have d5. Okay, so I need something more forcing. So f5, king d7, fg6, fg6. King d5. King e8, king e6. What else does black do? I think king e8 is forced. Probably, or e6, but e6 loses the g-pawn. Maybe. 
Yeah, okay, e6, e6 loses because they go... Oh wait, so f5, king d7 takes, takes, king d5, e6, king e5, if king e7... Uh, I think That's I just g3. go g3, yeah, and I win. But then king f7. And king d6? King f6. Oh. And maybe you lose then. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> How is this so complicated? Wait. <clears throat> okay, so I'm starting to dislike f5 altogether. Uh, but maybe I'm missing something. I thought you would say this, these lessons. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, okay, let's try. Uh, let's try something more punishing if f5 king d7 i go king f4 and now if you go f6 i take on g6 if you take on f5 i think with the king and win the h pawn if you continue walking with your king i go king g5 does that make sense so f5 king d7 king f4 That could work as well, but I think uh, I think White has a simpler win. After f5, king d7, or in general? Yeah, 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 f5, king d7. Because on king f4, you would have to calculate king d6, in, you know. In takes, takes, king g5, king e5. Wait, I'm lost. F5, king d7, king f4, and what were you going to play for black? King d6. Okay, uh, I go king g5. King e4, uh, king e5. Takes on g6. Take. King takes. King e4. King h5. Let's say king f4. King g6. And now push the pawn. H5. And now we have a race, so... So h5, e4, h6, e3, h7, e2, h8, e1. Your king is on f4. I do have an extra pawn. You have zero pawns left. Yeah, I think this endgame is lost for black, but yeah, I think I can I it's can go. Wait, uh... okay, it's hard to visualize all the checks with the queens for me. I, I I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna try to find the, find the simpler win, but I still think King F4 would win in a practical game. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's find something more for Try to find something non racy. Non racy. Okay, if I go f5 and king d7 and I take on g6, f takes g6 and I go g4 and hg4 seems forced. I go king f4, he goes king d6. That doesn't seem good. What am I missing? F5, king d7. Now, can I go g4 immediately without taking? F5, king d7, g4. And if black takes, I go king f4. Doesn't that work? Well, let me see. f5, king d7, g4, hg4, king f4. 
And if I take on f5? I play e5. I go back to e8. Okay. I still have this fortress. Maybe, maybe I can throw in h5 first. When? Uh, instead of e5. But then my g pawn runs. Mm, that's not true. My king is on f4. Oh yeah, my visualization sucks. Uh... No, but you still go king e8 and you're in the square. Oh yeah, I still do have time. Yeah, okay. So you're in the square, uh, but I could do that if you run away too far. Okay, f5, king d7. I'm fixated on, on king f4, I don't see anything else. I will try. f5, king d7. Do guys in the chat see the solution? Uh, play f2 is on the right track. Okay, I am with him. And also Suya, she's asking how much time did it take you to achieve 1900? Is he asking me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I achieved 1900 in... It took me two years. Almost exactly two years since I started playing chess. Then I went to 2050 and now I'm back to almost 2000. So, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the first moves. Okay, f5. I mean, f5, f5 king d7. d7. And then the most forcing is either g4 or f6. I don't see any other forcing moves, I think. Or oh. takes on g6. <laughs> okay, if I take on g6. Okay, f takes g6. And now the only forcing moves are g4 and king f4 that threatens to win the pawn. But not really. Okay, if king f4, king e6, king g5, king f7, black is defending g6 nicely and there's no zugzwang. If king h6, king f6, uh, e6 check, king f5, e5 check, king f5, yeah. No, actually. Yeah, but then I lose my h pawn. I don't know what I'm missing. Ah! f5, king d7, takes, takes. And John got it. Shut up. Good job, John. Uh, wait, 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 wait. F5, king d7, takes, takes. King d5. Black has to go either king d8 or king e8. If king d8, king e6, king e8. Let's say e5, king f8, king d7, king f7. That doesn't work. f5, king d7, takes, takes. If I don't go king d5 or king f4, nothing makes sense. I don't want to play g3.
Just tell me if if after king d7 taking is correct or am I calculating the wrong thing? Yeah, yeah taking on g6 is good. Okay. We looked at this before, so you're dismissing g3, king f4, what else do you have? Wait, wait, after after takes takes, I have g3, king f4, king d4, king d5, and that's it. I think those are all available moves, or g4. I only have five legal moves. What about king d4? I was looking at king d4, but I couldn't figure out what to do after king d5, uh, king d6. Yeah, that's a bit too active for black. And then he still has. Okay, king d5. Yeah, king d5. I think king d8. And again, I don't see what to do. King e6. King e8. And now try to find. Okay, I have e5 and g3 as tempo moves, but I think we looked at this position before. If if I go e5 and he goes king d8, I win with king f7. But if I go e5 and he goes king f8, I go king d7, he goes king f7. And now e6, king f6. Okay. Ah, and then g3. And then G3. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I always thought, okay, I have one tempo, but I, I have two. Okay, yeah, now I see. Yeah, okay, okay. That it's makes a bit sense. It's awkward because they seem the same, but... Yeah, I have to start with not. E5 and then use G3 when the king is... Okay, makes sense. Good job, John. Okay, is, is that it? There's nothing better? Yeah, so after F5... For example, we covered king f8, king d7, which leads to the same. fg, fg, king e6, and... Yeah, and now e5. Now e5. Yeah, yeah, okay. And this variation. After g3, black is in Zugzwang. Yeah, it's so easy to play that... If if this was a blitz game, probably... I, I would make those moves without calculation, because it's move per move. But when you have to look at it in advance, it's much tougher. Are you here? I don't know. We may have lost Milan again. Uh, is, is he gone? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. Milan wrote, I think I'm lost again. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's send him a new uh, a new link. Just give me a second. Uh, uh, Milan, I sent you a new link in in Leeches, if if you can see it. Yeah, you're not in the in the collab cam anymore. I don't know what was wrong with his uh, with his laptop the first time, with his camera the first time, but we'll see. Maybe it works now. Okay, he joined. Show on stream. Milan, are you back? Hello. Hello. We still don't have your camera, but can you can you hear me? Yeah. Can you guys hear Milan? John, can you hear Milan? Same issues all over. Okay. 
I, I, I don't know what's going on, but we'll try to fix it. Okay, uh, where did we end? Uh, on F5, uh, are we done with this? No, no. After F5, Black can play F6. We didn't cover that. Okay. Yeah, I actually started with that, but we didn't finish. Okay, F5, F6. Uh, So if king is six, uh, black uh, has to take on f5. Otherwise, I win. So if g5. Well, I can just take that. Fg. King f five. No, the pawn is on f five. Okay, my pawn is still on f five. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So f five, f six. King e six, g five. Can you wait with g3? Yeah, I'm calculating that now. I'm trying to see what I do against king f8. F5, F6, King E6, G5. G3, King F8. I think I can go e5 now. And if I take on h4? gh4. Take on e5. King e5. King f7. Yeah, okay, I have nothing after king f5, no, after king f4. So, f5, <clears throat> f6, king e6, g5, g3, king f8.
Oh, okay, I can take. Uh, I can take on g5 now, I think. Okay, fg. E5? But then I have H4 and the H4 runs. Okay, my king is not on E5. Ah. F5, F6, King E6. I'm starting to dislike King E6. f5 f6 king e6 g5 i keep running into g5 so i'm i'm going to try f5 f6 king f4 that seems a bit more promising because now and if i take on f5 uh, i take with the king you go king f7 and Can I go g4? I think I can. So f5, f6, king f4, takes. King takes, king f7, g4, hg4, king g4. And let's say e6. King g5. King g7. f5 f6 king f4 takes if i take with the pawn then i basically have an extra pawn and an extra tempo so that seems okay f5 f6 king f4 gf5 ef5 i'm assuming you go king d7 And then I go king e4. No, if you go king d7, I have g4, I think. Takes, king takes. And you have to go king e8? King e8. Yeah, and then I think I go around and I win. I go uh, king f3, or sorry, king f4. Could they play e5 instead of king e8? So f5, <clears throat> f6, king f4 takes, uh, e takes. King d7, g4. King d7, g4. Maybe immediately e5. Instead of king d7? Instead of king e8. Okay. I mean capturing and king e8. So on g4, e5 instead of taking on g4? Yeah. Okay, I take it. Uh, king takes. Uh, 
Wait, isn't your king on e8 in that variation? On e6. On, on d7, but I pushed. Wait, wait. We went f5, f6, king f4. You took, I took back. Ah, and you played king d7. Okay. Yeah, king d7. Uh, g4, and you played e5. Check. Okay, uh, f e6, king e6. And that's a draw. Yeah, I can do nothing with my doubled h pawns if I take, and if I push, you're gonna take. But they're doubled h pawns. Yeah, great. Wait, did we calculate <laughs> your position on g5, fg5, hg5? Is there yeah, a trick? Yeah, king f7. I also have an h pawn, so it's okay. Yeah, you do have an H pawn. Stupid. Even okay. Without, I think it's yeah, it's a draw. So is King F four bad? How can King F four be bad? Well, it makes Black a fortress. F five. F six. So let's try King D five. If king d7, I take on g6. If gf5, I play uh, ef5. And my king is now preventing uh, e5 and all that stuff. That seems much better. So I think gf5 cannot be played. So f5, f6, king d5. King d7. I take so king f7 I take on g6 king takes g6 and I go king e6 winning am I missing something that's winning yeah okay so is, is that good do I go king d5 on f6 but you haven't defended well with black okay so f5 f6 king d5 What's the defending defending move? If not king d7 takes on f5 or king f7? Take on f5. Okay, e f5. King f7 and I just shuffle on f8, f6. f7. Wait, after e f5, uh, your king is where? where? Where do you put your king? On f7. Okay. And I go king c6. King f8. Sorry, I can go even e5. Okay. Okay, then let's go back to e6. <clears throat> so f5, f6, king e6. You said g5. Yes. I don't see how to win there. F5, F6, King E6, G5. We saw G3 was bad. Yeah. Black can even take on H4 and keep his king on F8, F7. So what happens if you take on G5? Well, F, F takes. And then I need to somehow... get around to those pawns f5 f6 king e6 g5 takes f takes uh, if i go f6 the pawns run away if i go king uh, e5 then i'm in the square 
And I'm threatening to go probably king d4, e3, f3. Oh, wait, back up a second. So if you play f6, what does black do? Probably plays g4. Yes. I know I have f7 check, but that's nothing. After g4, I'm losing. Is that true? I'm not sure about losing, but not winning for sure. How am I not losing after g4? King f5, king, king g5. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So not f6. I mean, but if I go king d4, I have pawns on f5 and e4. Black has pawns on... Okay, I have f5, e4, g2. Black has h5, g5, e7. Is that true? And black's king is on e8. How do I get to those pawns? Wait, did you just try this in the Leech's chat or before? Like, guys. I think we lost Milan again. <laughs> I, I don't know, he might be gone again. Milan, uh. hello. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, d I don't think this is on my end. Uh, I think it's me. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I just saw the chat. There are no answers, but I'm going to try to. Uh, just in case you read this, thank you. Ta thank you for all great videos. To start. Uh, oh, no problem, Lauchi, 12. Uh, Mr. Malicious, we are analyzing opponent game, which is uh, quite complicated. And yeah, as John pointed out, f5, f6, king e6, g5, hg5. And uh, fg5 and we're trying to figure out a win for white Milan talk all the time so that I know you're here <laughs> okay I'm I have to concentrate again so wait <clears throat> f5 f6 king e6 g5 takes takes so my pawns are on g2, e4, f5. Black's pawns are on g5, h5, e7. Black's king is on e8. I don't have time for e5. I don't have time for f6. I don't have a way around to black's pawns unless I can get to f7 or unless I go king d5. Is there a direct win here I'm looking for, Milan? Yes. I could use my tempo now and go G3. And on H4... I can take it because I will mate black. Mm, how? Well, g h four, g four h five. Black king is on e eight. But white king is on e six, right? Yeah. 
why would I push g4? I can take on h4. Oh yeah, that's true. I was looking at the position after g4, h4. <laughs> <laughs> okay, g3. No, I, I'm not going to... Yeah, if you go h4, takes, takes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So not f6, not g3. If I go e5, what did I get? I don't think I got anything. I think black just plays g4 again. And the only other sensible move I have is king d5, which makes very little sense to me. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <sighs> okay, my pawns are on e4, f5, g2. Black's pawns are on g5, h5, e7. My king is on e6, black's king is on e8. Available king moves are king d5 and king e5. Available pawn moves are f6, e5, and g3. g3 doesn't work, f6 doesn't work, e5 doesn't work. So either king d5 or king e5. If I go king e5, and then my idea is to go f6 and king f5. If I go king e5, black, black probably goes king f7. I assume. Yes, you don't want to overextend. So what did I get? I didn't get anything. True. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I go king d5 and black goes king d7, uh, I can go e5. Probably, yeah. If black goes king f7, I can go e5. And I'm in, in the square of the g and h pawns. And I'm going to try to play... I'm going to try to get closer to those pawns. But if I go king d5 and king f7 and e5, what does black play? e6. Why couldn't I take that with check? King e7. King e5. The pawn is on e5. Yeah. Yeah. And if you wait with king e4, I wait with king e7. And even if you push f6, king f7, I hold the king side. Would you be able to find this win in an actual game? Would it be easy for you? Uh, the 
previous one with FGFG King D5 was easier. This one, I, I think I would overlook this defensive resource E6. So again, I'm looking for a win after f5, f6, king e6, g5, hg, fg. Is that true? Milan? Yeah. So I'm looking for a win there after f takes g5. Yes. And I'm not crazy. My possible moves are f6, e5, g3, king d5, and king e5. G3 is losing. Yeah, I, but those are the possible yeah, moves. Yeah. G3 is losing. F6 makes no sense because of G4. We looked at that. Yeah. E5, I don't see what E5 does. What does E5 do? It does not. Well, E5 tries to create an F pass pawn. I understand, but if King, if King D7 or G4... What do I do? No, no, no. King F8 is possible. Okay, King, even King F8. F6? Yeah. And then I slowly go. King F5, King G5. Pick up the pawns and win. Yeah, okay. So basically with E5, I'm forcing you to react with the pawn move on the king side. Either G or H. Yeah, but after after G four, if you go F six and I go G three, I have King F five. Yeah, okay. White is in time. Okay, I was afraid of G four, G three, and H four, H three. Okay, so is that the win? E5? M maybe he's gone again. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh... Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, John, what, so you're saying f6, king e6, g5, hg5, fg5, e5, g4? Why king d5? Okay, John, are you mo moving the pieces of, on the board? Because it's depress depressing that you're so much better than me. <laughs> this is unfair. Ah, you're using a board. Okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not gonna look at the chat anymore. Milan, okay. Uh, it's too far away for me to visualize all the tricks with G and H pawns. I would assume that E5 is okay, but I, from this position, yes. I wouldn't be sure it's winning. Okay, let's put this on the board. Just so we have this position. Yeah. And now we told that King King D5. This is bad because of E6. Yeah. If you go king e4, king e7, this is a fortress. There's yeah. no way to break through. That that I understand. But if you go e5 immediately, and he goes king f8, you go with f6. Wait, why would why would black go king f8? Why wouldn't black play g4? Well, that's the point to prove why does he want to play g4 or h4. So, let's say g4. I move and get closer. And black is going to run out of moves very soon. But if I go king f7 now? Yes. King g7. Here. And king h6. And now g3. You gotta move, I go to g5 and... Yeah, okay, that that's extremely over. hard to visualize. I, I don't think I would be able to, to see half of 
of what we just went through. I mean, considering all the possible king moves. Because it doesn't seem too forcing to me. I mean, it does when you show it like this, but when I'm trying to visualize, it doesn't. Wait, and yeah, if we start... Steps ahead, it's a bit... <laughs> if we start with h4? Uh, with it's... h4, it's the same. Let's say this. And I get to g4. Yeah, it's the same thing. I think in best case, black can just uh, give up these two for one. But it's still winning, for example. Yeah, it's still winning, because never has e6. Let's see. Yeah, yeah so okay. G4 and... Yeah. Okay. So, so king f8 is just a waiting move. If, if g4 and h4 don't work, yeah, then it makes sense. Then you can get the g5 square for the king and win eventually. Yeah, but in that case, f6 works and... Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Black's okay. not able to exchange two for one. I would never think of king f8 as a move for black in, in, in this line. I would because it it's obviously it it doesn't work. I mean, it does nothing. Okay, this was and a bit no, too no, hard. No, this is not over. Okay, <laughs> but this line with f6 was this was tough. Yeah, yeah, for it me. is. It is. It is over. Let's go back. Okay. What if f5, f6, king e6, and take on f5? Okay. Uh, f5, f6, king e6, g5. If king f5, king f7, I assume. Uh, <clears throat> just a small hint consider all options sure so so it's not easy again <laughs> shut up <laughs> uh f5 f6 king e6 gf5 if i go king f5 he goes king f7 we both have an e pawn he has an f pawn and i have g and h in that case if i go g4 a g4 king g4 let's say king g6 h5 king h6 king f5 should be a draw so not g4 so f5, f6, king e6, gf, king f, king f7. What can I do? I can go e5. Then if e6, check, I can, I can go, where can I go? <clears throat> okay, I don't like that because... Well, maybe it does work if I can go. No, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't go e5. f5, f6, king e6, gf, king f, king f7. I don't like letting the black king to f7. So I would first look at taking with the pawn. Uh, so in this position, black's pawns are on h5, f6, e7. My pawns are on uh, uh, f5, g2, and h4. My king is on e6, black's king is on e8, and it's black to move. Sensible candidate moves are king f8 and king d8. Everything else loses material. So if king f8 which makes more sense because if king d8 uh, i can go king f7 and i think i'm very quick to play king g6 and king h5 and queen my pawn 
So it seems like king f8 is the only move. So f5, f6, king e6, gf5, ef5, king f8. What can I do? Possible candidate moves are king d7 and g3. I don't think I have anything else. I could go king d5, but seems useless. So if I go king... D7. Okay, let's think about this position not in terms of calculation, just in terms of entry points. Okay, so uh, how do you break through with G4, or if you outflank him on in the center? Well, G4 should give me. A protected sorry uh, should give me an extra pawn basically unless black has e5 and black shouldn't have e5 before the king reaches d7 but it would take me a couple of moves to get to f4 i think oh no actually am i threatening mate already wait if no no yeah after king f8 i don't have time for g4 so i would have to go king d5 and king e4 and king f4 to play g4 but if i go king d5 black goes king d7 or king f7 or king f7 so in g4 works in theory but my king is too far away for my liking whether i can outflank him or not uh, that, I mean that I have to calculate. I still think both it's possible you to win both to ways. Sorry? You don't have to calculate that. Wait. I don't understand why, so I'm going to try and convince myself that I don't have to calculate. <laughs> so I have pawns on f5, h4, g2. He has pawns on e7, h5, and f6. If I go king f7, he... Uh, sorry, if I go... No, it's black to move. Black goes king f8. And I go king d7. Black goes king f7. I go king d8. Now let's stop here. Can you, can you somehow disturb this equilibrium? King f8, king f7. I don't think so. And that's why you cannot uh, outflank him here. Okay. Whenever you want to push g4, he has a king on f7, pushes e6 or e5. Yeah. And it's a fortress. Okay, so I need something better. But if I go g4 immediately, he is within the square, he takes and wins. So the only other move that makes sense is king d5. Or king e5. Or sorry, king e5 is illegal. King d5. And let's say king f7. King e4. What does black play? King g6, let's say. Uh, king g7. Yeah. And I go g4. Uh, If black takes, I think hg4, king g4, uh, king h7, maybe. Or king h6, doesn't matter. I don't think I can. And now, do you have time to outflank? Uh, wait, my king is on g4 his king is on h6 my pawn is on f5 my pawn is on h4 so i go uh, king f4 he goes king h5 no i don't yeah you need a million moves to take yeah. 27 until then yeah no no that that doesn't work so again i'm looking for a direct win from that position yes jesus 
f5, f6, king e6, gf5, ef5. King f8. <clears throat> You're missing one line, one option. Uh, maybe I can go g3 to provoke king e8 and then go g4. That way I'm at least one tempo up. Maybe it doesn't matter much. It shouldn't. But you missed one candidate move. After king f8. No, 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 before. Before recapturing on f5? Well, if I... Uh, now it's yeah, okay, don't, 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 don't tell me anything. It's a very big hint. It's not a hint, it's just... I'm telling you a move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> f5, f6, king e6, gf5. I mean, the only thing I can consider is king f5, but I, I didn't think that worked. Did they find it? Did John find it? Uh, no, somebody else did. Mm, okay. And if our young FJK. Oh, maybe I can go e5 after gf5. Yeah. Ah, okay, I see it now. <laughs> okay. I'm an idiot. Why, did, why don't I consider that earlier? And after that, we get the endgame we saw before. Yeah. Queen and pawn versus queen. Just show you this. So after f5, maybe it's simpler to go here I can see okay so, after taking e5 was played yeah king takes and now king b7 he's trying to use this pawn to promote while he takes an h5 and you see Steam, we had this position before yeah And now we have this end game, which we can analyze for an hour or two. <laughs> and it finished after 50 moves. I don't know. I mean, is it is it winning? Uh, table base says it's winning. Queen b8, king g4, and then queen c8. And now this check, but it's very complicated. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was winning or not. I never know queen and pawn versus queen, unless you can trade queens by force. Yeah, and here black was pushed away. The g pawn was pushed. And now queen f4 to stop queen h4 checks after pushing. Yeah, okay, now, no, yeah, now I see it. But at some point, white screwed up. And it could be a draw, but black also messed up. And 
And now, yeah. Now it's a draw. Do you have a human explanation why? No, I cannot explain this. Okay, <laughs> then let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I never understand queen and pawn versus queen. I mean, it, it's just... Unless I see the geometry where I trade queens, I'm just guessing and or trying to check or trying to run away from checks. Also, I wanted to show you one thing here, but I forgot in the process. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Here, in this position. There was a simpler way to draw. You can take on f5, but you can also go e5. And if I'm passing king e7, take a pawn and it's over. And after f uh, after e five, just take and take on e six. F six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, of course, even this is this is just fine. Go e six and make a fortress. This is probably the hardest four versus four symmetrical king and pawn endgame <laughs> I ever saw. <laughs> this was very tough. But yeah, h5 was a big mistake. If he played just king d7, it would be much different. Yeah, why would he play h5? It seems like if he leaves his pawns where they are, he cannot lose. But okay. Yeah, I guess he thought that it would, everything was wrong. Yeah. Okay. This was Gelf and Jabava, actually. Yeah, Jobaba sometimes plays quickly. Okay, are we gonna do another one? I don't think we have time for. Ah, okay. <laughs> did you guys wait? I'm going to look at the chat. Uh, did you guys uh, like the position? Did you solve it? This game, Gelf and ah, you you wrote that. Okay, uh, do you want to start another one and finish it next time, or are we done? Uh, let's start. Sure, I mean, I'm, I'm way too slow, so we're probably not going to solve it, but... So... Okay. Black is the one pushing here for a win. Sorry? He has... Black is the one who is pushing here. He has more space. Mm, okay. And imagine you're white. How would you defend here? I like the idea of playing g4, preventing knight f5 and provoking f5 to get the e5 square for my rook. If the knight cannot go to f5, then... Uh, Well, I don't know if I should be afraid of allowing the knight into f4 because I don't see an easy way for the knight to get to f4. I'm trying to figure that out now. So if well, even if it does get to f4, uh, you have f5 to yourself. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to look at something like f5, knight c8, and I don't know what I do. But let's say black plays uh, f5, knight c8, knight f1, knight e7, knight g3. Uh, knight g6, knight f5, knight f4. Yeah, then rook e7 and... Yeah, That's okay. That, so the first thing I would consider is g4. Uh, because if a3 doesn't work, and I think I can just go b3, uh, then I don't see a way for black to infiltrate. Maybe if I go g4, black can try b6, c5, but... That could be too weakening. Uh, maybe uh, black could try a3, b3, uh, knight b5 with the idea of rook e8, trading crooks, putting pressure on c3, and that would force my knight to to b1, but I could then win the a3 pawn. So 
Yeah, once you get to D3, push C4, D3 point is gone. Yeah. Uh, what else would I do? I mean, without calculating any lines, I would say G4. But I'm not sure what I have to calculate. I'm trying to see if there are any more threats. What black does if white doesn't do anything? Uh, if he just goes rookie 2, rookie 3, or king d1, king c2. I'm trying to decide if I would like to play f5 or knight f5 with black. <clears throat> Milan, are you here or are you gone? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. No, but if I go knight f5, so let's say king f2 and knight f5 and rook e2, what did I really get? Well, not much, I think. You can improve your knight to get to e3. So, can we somehow play f5 and f4 to give the knight the e3 square? And then if white doesn't play g4, I go knight f5, knight e3. But again, I'm not sure. I have that much. Hmm. Okay, so let's say black is threatening to go a3 and I go b3. Did black get anything? No. If I do nothing and black goes f5, what did black get? If I go g4, black goes f4. I go rook e2. Knight f5. Yeah, that seems unpleasant. But again, if I go g4, black would just go f5 anyway. Uh, so I didn't think I'm preventing f5 with g4. Let me show you what happened in the game. Went okay. quite passively and got punished really quickly. So, c6. Black got to play f5. Mm -hmm. And black just expands on the king's side. He was allowed f4 and he took here, which allows black to use his g file. Yeah. And now, of course, one of the sides is gonna have an open file, but it's black who always has good squares to enter. Yeah, that's. I mentioned f5, f4, and knight f5, knight e3. So I saw something like this, but I wasn't sure it was enough for black to win. Is this enough for black to win? Yeah, no, this is very close to winning. If you let's say go rook g2, rook e8 is very unpleasant. And what if I go rook e5? Entries. Instead of rook, rook e5, g2. knight f5. Yeah, and now I go knight f1. Rook g8. And. Uh, 
I thought I had time for rook e8, but maybe I don't. And you know, here I can play slowly, play push this pawn to h3, rook g1 next. Yeah. I only have to be careful about some counterattacks by rook okay. e8, rook c8, but... Yeah, the e3 square for the knight is very unpleasant. But g4 doesn't prevent that, I think, does it? Let's go back. So it was this position. Yeah, if I go g4 and black plays f5 anyway, and I take it, then I leave too many targets behind, I think. And if I don't but take why it... why do you F5, want to take it? Well, if I don't take it, uh, the knight doesn't have f5, but it could have c4, maybe. Let's say if I go rook e5 here. Okay, and I go king f6. Now, do I want to shatter my structure and go knight f1, knight g3? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Uh, we're both going to have good squares for the knights, but you're going to have split pawns. And and if you don't take, I'm going to go f4, preventing knight g3. And your knight is dead. But also yours doesn't have too many squares. I mean, let's say knight f1, f4, I go back. Okay. How do you break through? I could h5, go. Maybe. I could go knight f7, h5, and rook h8. Oh, but wait! On h5, you have h4. No, but I was thinking knight f7 first, just to gain a tempo on uh -huh. the rook and defend. And now you you move the rook somewhere. I go h5. I don't have rook f5, right? You have to go rook e2, I think. Rook e2. And now I either play h5 or rook h8 first, even. I'm not sure. Maybe I can go rook h8. I don't know. This seems very unpleasant for white. I, I don't know. I don't think g4 solves the problem because I'm just going to go f5 anyway. Then we have to consider capturing. Yeah, but now knight takes, and if rook e5, king f6? Okay, so you want to go knight g3. And... If I simply go uh, knight g7 and rook e8 to try and trade into a better knight endgame with the f4 square for my king. I have a better king and a better pawn structure. Maybe I don't win, but it seems like black is better. Yeah, he should be better for sure, but <clears throat> I don't think it's enough. But how do you prevent my king from staying on f4? Well, let's see, knight e3. Okay, rook e8. Uh, knight d6. Uh, knight b5. Knight c2? Yeah, you're afraid. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Okay, ja. jetzt mal auf. Uh, B6. Move. C5. Yeah, maybe four, maybe. Can you go knight B4? I go A3. Takes. Knight C3. Knight A2. Can I not take your knight? No, pawn ending again. Isn't this a better pawn ending for me? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, king f5. King f5, king g3. h4. No, no, wait, maybe b5 now. Okay, king f4. Oh, you do have g4, yeah. No, or maybe it doesn't work, I'm trying to calculate. Yeah, it does work. G4. That's right. G4 and... Yeah, and that's it. I don't think you can four. you can trade knights. And if you cannot trade knights, then it means that knight B4 is bad. Yeah, so here I can just wait maybe with A3. But I go C5. Okay, and now I switch. Now I go knight d6, king e6. But now is even knight f5 working? Again. Maybe I didn't see it. Yeah, it is. Same Once again, I have g4, g4 and king e4. Yeah. Take on d4, g4, and king e4. A3 loses a tempo for you. If you go A3, I think you're... You can never trade knights. Yeah, so king G3 maybe. Yeah, but again C5. I... Oh I yeah, we got the same. I don't see how this can be... How, how black can hold this. I have a passed pawn and you don't. H4. Uh... I don't know. Okay. Now A3. Maybe, but I'm I'm trying to see if I should go C D first or not. Yeah, okay, I think after H4 you're good. I don't see a way to make progress now. No, but now when you play this. Yeah, but you take it? Uh, with what? With the knight. Should and now can I? I mean, I have to take. Yeah, and now just takes and. And it's lost. Yeah. Okay, it's lost. Okay, so on a three. Okay. Yeah. If a three works, it works. Unless I can take... No, I cannot. Okay, okay. Unless I can play b4. No, but then... You take on b4, take on c3. Mm. What do you mean? Well, if you take like this, knight c3... Yeah, 
Isn't this a drop? I see two king of oh. Knight to king f5 is check. Yeah, now, now white wins. <laughs> Maybe you wait with king g6. Okay, and if I just wait with um, king h3, yeah, then you can take, take, and king f5. But knight e3? Yeah, knight e3 again. Okay, take, take, king f6, <laughs> and lost. Okay, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe black just repeats king f6. Maybe this is... Yeah, king f6, king g 3 and... This is a weird draw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Is the, is the correct idea g4 for white? Because Yes. But how does it prevent counterplay? I mean, I, this, this one I saw in a second, I'm happy to say, but I don't see how it pre prevents f5. I but would still go f5. If you compare it to the game. Yeah, okay, it's better than doing nothing, but I don't think... In a game, he was just squished. Yeah. Okay. This knight got much more freedom here, and it was much tougher for white to defend. Okay, makes sense. Okay, uh, when are we going to do the next lesson? Saturday? Uh, sure, I may have a league game on Sunday, in which case we're not going to do the lesson, but I don't think I'll play. So, uh, what time do you want to do it? Any time works. Okay. 6 p.m. Yeah, sure, sure. 6 p.m. is okay. Okay, uh, John and the rest of you, thank you for watching. Uh, we will see you uh, in two days. See you guys. Thank you, Milan. Bye-bye.